Hello people of YouTube, welcome to yet another review, and today we are going to review the anime that is on day 8 for the day of, and it is day 8 for the 10 for 20, and we are about to review the anime which I personally enjoyed the most. An anime that did not make the top 10 list, but still in my heart, really shined. The anime we are about to review today is the anime Soul Leader. Oh god. The story of Soul Eater follows a group of teens who goes to this acad uh, sorry. Who goes to the academy called the DWMA, which stands for Death Weapon Meister Academy, which are home for weapons and meisters. Okay, that is run and the school is run by Lord Death himself. That's right, the Grim Reaper himself is in charge of a fine institution, if you would like to say a fine institution. And he looks over and the school is meant for to train these weapons and meisters to go out in the world and hunt down these monsters called the Kishin. And if you obtain over a hundred, um, a total of 99 Kishin souls and one soul of a witch, you can be classified as one of Lord Death's himself's death slides. They call them Death Sights. So it's about them basically going through. Um, I I don't really know what they're really about to say to this kind of influence, but the anime is solid. I fucking love Soul Eater to the fullest extent. But before we get yet another big elephant out of this room, let's talk about the pros. The pros of this anime was that the animation was superb as always, okay? I absolutely loved the animation when it comes to this anime. The animation of all has to go to this anime, alright? I love the creative influences that this anime has brought. I really like the creativity involved in this anime, having both weapons and meisters, and weapons being people that can transform into various numbers of weapons. Like, <clears throat> there's a one guy that can transform to a death scythe. There's one, there's like a few people that can turn into guns. There are people that turn into, you know, sh you know shooty kins, uh, just, just, just you name it, they can transform into that. But just one thing, like, of course, like, you can't transform to Scythe and go to something else. No, just one weapon, just one weapon form. <clears throat> that kind of makes sense. The English dubbed for this anime is one of Funimation's best. I love Lara Bailey posing as Maka. I love Lara Bailey in general. She's a superb voice actress. I think that... Her role as Maka for Soul Eater in the Soul Eater was superb. I loved her voice actor. And also props to the other voice actors that done their voicing. They also did an outstanding job. Especially Todd. Can't say his last name was Death the Kid, which about to get into the characters pretty soon. But I loved each and every single character towards this anime. And hell, why not get into the topic of characters? Each and every single character, like I mentioned before, I love them. Okay. You got Soul, uh, which is actually basically the title of this anime called Soul Eater. His name is Soul Eater. I really like this character a lot. I like his, you know, snarky attitude, his way of going around things. I really liked Soul a lot. Also, his Meister, Maka. Like I mentioned before, Lara Bailey does an amazing job as Maka, but Maka, the character, I liked her a lot. I liked her. I found her to be, you know, the voice of reason. I like that she was, she can be calm and collective while at the same time, you know, really, you know, changing. And I, I really like Maka in this anime. <clears throat> Next, we have my all time favorite character. I cannot stress this enough. He is my freaking. He was in my top 10 anime badass list. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what anyone says about this guy. Black Star. Ho oh, ho. Guys, I fucking loved Black Star. He is the one. He is the only Black Star. He is amazing, and I believe that one day he will surpass God. Because this guy is amazing. I 
fucking loved him. I like his character. I like his snarky attitude. I like his, you know, happy-go-lucky ways. How he always tries to be the bigger man, even though he tends to be a screw-up at times. I really liked him a, a lot. And, and his weapon, Subaki, which... I kind of had a little crush on her since I, the moment I saw her, and all my feelings towards her, they're, they're still amazing, okay? I freaking loved Subaki. I like that she was calm, she was gentle, and I feel like she, like, the reason why Subaki likes Blackstar the most was because I really think that Subaki is like the yen and his yang, okay? Or it's vice versa, I'm not, I'm not really sure, but... I think the Subaki was really, you know, the voice of reason behind Black Star's influences. Okay, I really think that he was Black Star's um, voice of reason. Okay, and I really liked her character. Next, going to death, the kid. Ho ho ho! He is, without a doubt in my mind, a badass. Death, the kid was such an amazing character. I like, I like Todd's. I can't say his last names. He, I fucking can't say it. Uh, I like his attitude. I like his way of, you know, his little OCD thing that everything must be symmetrical. I liked him a lot. He was outstanding. Trying, there's a burp coming. I just know, but if I burp, then excuse me. But uh, I really liked him. There you go. <laughs> I really liked him a lot in this anime. And his two weapons, which are twin pistols, Liz and Patty. Although you really don't get to see much about their past and their story, I you know, I I like them both. I really like both uh, Liz and Patty at the same time. They were both well done, and their English voice actors or actresses were also fantastic. You know, Red Cove. This is one of Funimation's well done English dubs. <clears throat> then we have. Sp Spirit, who is voiced by Vic Mingiana, I, I liked him a lot, okay? He was also Maka's father. I really liked Spirit a lot in this anime, okay? He he was really good. I, I liked him a lot. So, and, hell, he like, I think he was supposed to be like the comic relief of this anime, but eh, he, 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 did, his, he did his job, okay? It, it, it was okay. And next we have one of the most zaniest characters in Death the Kid. We got... Lord Death. Now, when you imagine Lord Death, you imagine, you know, you know, when you die, you see that man, okay? He is the Lord Death, okay? So you think he's gonna be all tough, all serious? That's the exact opposite, okay? Lord Death is amazing in this anime. I freaking liked him so much that I, I, I really found him to be one of the most interesting characters in the entire anime. And I'm not going to bring up a certain character. <laughs> I'm not going to bring him up, okay? Because he's just... <sighs> I'm not going to bring him up. But props to Excalibur. Ooh. Oh, God. No, that's it. I'm not going to say more about him. Next, we have the action. I love the action in this anime. The action was intense, thrilling, to the point where I was nearly at the edge of my seat. Like, I know, there's actually a bunch of more characters that I forgot to mention, like Krona, who, which I freaking liked Krona a lot in this anime. I found it to be one of the most well-developed, and I felt so sorry for him. I felt so sorry. Like, I, I cry. I cry for Krona. Like, he's that one character that you just really want to be friends with because he's just so lovable. He's so nice. I like him. Anyway, going back to the action, I really liked the action in this anime. It's so intense, so outstanding. That's it for the action. And the comedy was actually pretty well. I, you know, there were scenes in this anime that just made me laugh. Like, we got Krona's poem. That scene was hysterical. I, I, I don't even want to read that poem, okay? I really don't. Because probably that poem would probably scar me for life. It's like, the poem does not exist. Like, you don't really read the poem, but like, you, you see Maka holding the poem in her hand, she reads it, and she goes to the corner and just like, <laughs> and, and they're like sulking. It's, it's, it's hysterical, I loved it. It was one of the most funniest scenes in this anime. Next we have, 
Uh, what else did I really like about the? Oh, the opening and ending themes are also great. The, the, I love both openings and ending themes. They were also really, really good. As for the antagonist of this anime, she was amazing. One of my favorite villains, and that goes to Medusa. She was amazing. Yeah, yeah I keep going back to characters, but still, the characters in this anime was outstanding. I loved it. <clears throat> so let's bring out the big elephant in the room. My biggest con towards this anime. Yes, there is a con. There's just one big, huge one. The ending. That was like the biggest buzzkill ending. Like those endings that makes you say, Really? That happened? That's it? That ending was so anticlimactic. The ending... The, you know, the, the ending was, you know, there were, it was building up. It was really building up towards this ending where this big, huge final threat, you know, was about to show up. You know, that ending was so building, so building, so hype, so hype. You know, you just can't wait for that ending, that ending, that ending, and then... Really? That's it? That was your ending? Just... A screenshot of them looking out at the sun and then just... that That's it? That's all we get? No, hey, seriously? <laughs> oh my god. That ending sucked. One of the worst endings I have ever seen in that anime. The worst ending I have ever seen in an anime. But that alone does not make up for the fact that this anime is still amazing. I found the action to be hysterical. I was like, the, <laughs> the, the comedy to be hysterical, the action being intense, the characters being well developed, the animation being well spot on, the opening and ending themes were all so amazing. That's why I'm going to give Soul Eater a 9 out of 10. It is definitely worth watching. Go check it out. It's still on Netflix to this day, so go ahead Watch Soul Eater. I was actually re-watching it not too long ago. And uh, I recommend you go check out Soul Eater. It is one of the most outstanding animes. One of, um, one of the very few animes that really, you know, got me on track. It's a perfect gateway anime for anyone to watch. So go check out Soul Eater. And that will conclude day 8 for the 10 for 20. And I will see you later. Peace out, people.